Why do chefs wear tall hats? Three minute answer. One of the most instantly recognizable shapes in modern fashion culture is that of a traditional chef hat. The bordering on ridiculously tall hat is shaped like nothing seen elsewhere in fashion or workwear. When we look at the traditional hat it certainly doesn't look practical. If anything, having a tall flammable object placed on top of our head is a health and safety nightmare. So why do chefs wear tall hats? Traditional tall chef hat. The traditional tall white chef hat, known as a toque blanche, was made famous in the early 1800s by legendary French chef Marie Antoine Kermy. The height traditionally symbolizes rank, with the head chef having the highest hat in the kitchen. There are several theories for the folds although not as popular as they once were. These type of hats can still be found in kitchens today as this video demonstrates. Working chefs wearing traditional chef hats. Why do chef hats have folds? As with all origin stories, it can be tricky to determine exactly what was symbolized by the folds or pleats in the hat. But there are two main schools of thought regarding them. The many folds in a chef's hat, possibly as many as 100, demonstrate the number of different ways to cook an egg. Other thoughts are that the number of folds is an indication of experience level and rank. I. E. The more folds or pleats in a chef's hat, the more recipes they are able to cook and the greater their experience level. I have tried wearing one of these hats, admittedly a lightweight one made of a paper material opens in a new tab during work and I can tell readers that they are far from comfortable. Plus I just felt rather silly. Why are chef hats white? White is the traditional color of a chef's uniform as it is believed to offer the highest level of cleanliness. Popular belief is that white was chosen by legendary French chef Marie Antoine Kermy. The natural choice was to choose white for the hat also. And that is why it became known as the toque blanche, translated to white hat. White is seen as the most hygienic color opens in a new tab, as it highlights any dirt and debris that is spilt onto the uniform. This was especially important centuries ago. However, with modern day hygiene standards chefs are moving away from traditional white opens in a new tab. As our uniform is washed daily regardless of how it looks to the eye. What are traditional chef hats made from? As referenced earlier, the times in my career when I have been required to wear a traditional toque blanche. It has always been the disposable paper type. Traditionally, chef hats, or toques as they are called, are made from cotton as it is a lightweight and most importantly, very breathable. I have only had to wear a traditional toque blanche a few times when doing a customer facing role, such as a barbecue for guests out on the terrace. This gives the impression to the customer of a traditional chef in the traditional uniform and is something guests seem to enjoy seeing. Young chef enjoying a traditional chef hat. These lightweight paper hats are pretty uncomfortable as they tend to slid down onto the top of your ears. This means that the thin paper material is digging into the top of your ears whilst wearing it. They also have a habit of slipping down over your eyes. Over the course of several hours opens in a new tab. The constant need to slide the hat back up becomes an irritation. Removing the hat at the end of a shift is always a pleasure. Anyone who wears glasses will know that wearing even a lightweight object begins to get frustrating. Over time and will be familiar with the ah feeling when taking them off at the end of the day. Thankfully by the time I started my chef career, the idea of everyone working in these traditional hats had passed. 
Do chefs have to wear hats? The Food Standards Agency guidelines recommend that everyone that handles food should wear a hair covering of some description. However, this is a guideline and therefore individual chefs are free to not wear a hat if they choose and the kitchen they work in allows it. Many chefs argue that in the hot environment of a kitchen, wearing a hat makes our head unnecessarily hot and sweaty. This encourages chefs to take their hats on and off to get some respite from the heat and allow their head to breath. Constantly removing the hat and placing it back on actually encourages more hair touching and therefore a greater chance of hair falling out than if we didn't wear a hat at all. I have personally worked in both kitchens that insist hats be worn and those that do not enforce it. My personal opinion is that the heat retention in my head when wearing a hat makes an already uncomfortably hot environment opens in a new tab. Very difficult to be in, especially on warm days. By not wearing a hat we touch our head less and therefore there is much less chance of hair contaminating food. How many times have we found hair in our dinner cooked at home whilst not wearing a hat? Hair contamination in food is not commonplace regardless of hat wearing or not. That being said it is a guideline of best practice opens in a new tab. And I can understand why some kitchens choose to enforce this rule. Thankfully there are many options available today in addition to the traditional chef hat. Food standard agency rules on chefs wearing hats. What hats do modern chefs wear? Fortunately for chefs there are many options to choose from when it comes to headwear. Alongside the traditional chef toque there are beanies, skull caps, wraps, baseball hats and caps to name just a few. Different hats are more suited to different environments. I will briefly discuss each type below as well as when they will be most suitable. During my career opens in a new tab. I have worn perhaps the most common hats to see within professional kitchens, the skull cap and the baseball cap options. Although there have been customer facing roles mixed in. Where I have been required to don the traditional tall white hat. Usually if a kitchen requires that their chefs wear hats they will provide them so a new chef does. Not need to worry about rushing out to buy one before their first shift. 